please ignore how I look right now. I look like I get hit by a bus and then like, I don't even know. Welcome to my channel. I have no idea when this video will be uploaded because I am doing like a reading vlog. It's all gonna be about The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I am like so obsessed with this right now. Okay, so for me, I'm a very slow reader. I made it like almost be done a book in three days. It's insane. And this is the first one, which is City of Bones. Before I even get into this, I already kind of know the Shadow Hunter world because I watched when I was younger, whenever, whatever age I was, watched the first season of Shadow Hunters on CW. I never like finished it though because I just got lost and I just never was on time. I'm caught up into it. I understand what happens. I know what happens with them, blah, 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 blah. But this is my first time ever reading this series. So I am on 323 chapter 18, which is the Mortal Cup. And I am obsessed. All I want to do is just stay inside and read all day. I'm just loving this. This is literally 12 minutes long. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Kate. I'm gonna go now and get this stuff done, and then I'll come back and I'll love to you guys on the reading. Are we going? Yeah, I need my wallet. Oh, wait. Girl, stop shoving your shit with me. What do you mean, where should I put it, dum dum? Yo, ass. Hey guys, once more is a noble because I really wanted to get the next books, obviously, because I I'm almost done. I think I only have maybe like 120 or something. I checked, didn't have it, but I did still get stuff there. I just got two things. I got the fourth. So this is City of Fallen Angels. So this has Isabel on the front. So yeah, this one's actually kind of pretty. I really like it. And then the last thing I just got was I got a candle. It's titled Enemies to Lovers. And the note, it says, smells like heated fights and steamy nights. And the fragrance is a vanilla, orchid, um, and jasmine. This is number four in the edition. I've had heartburn all day or something, and I am feeling like shit, but I am going to have to go to work. So until I have to go there, I'm going to try to finish as much as I can. If I can get to at least 400, I'm on 366, like I said. So we'll see how much I can get into. So we are going to start reading. Let's go. <laughs> page 403 now we're chapter 22 so it's renwick's ruin i don't know really good his story was epic lots of shit just happened so it's like alec alive like why like <laughs> we don't know anything i'm so glad that they finally both found each other that luke and clary finally found each other and that all of the miscommunication can finally put put to rest and they can be like look this is what happened blah, 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 blah. you know i finally sadly have to go to work it's 4 31 <laughs> so i hope that my pre-orders come like soon because I'm gonna be done this book like today or tomorrow and I need the next one. Okay, let me go to work now and go kill myself. I finished, I finished, I finished, I finished. So it is 2.24, Tuesday the 18th. So I finally finished the book. I absolutely loved it. The storytelling is so good. Like I could not put it down and like it was the only thing I was thinking about. I don't know if um, everyone has like read this series so you don't want to get spoiled. Skip to this part but um, I hate the storyline of them being brother and sister. It just makes it so confusing and it's also gross. Obviously like they love each other romantically and then it just switches everything up and then it also just makes it very confusing of who did what and all that but also there was just like little holes that they should have asked but they didn't because it just shows how manipulative valentine is and how easy it was to manipulate jace because of his trauma and his wish for a family and how like it was just so easy to manipulate him yeah i want to go like watch the movie and watch the tv show now because 
why not like i said it's the 18th sadly uh, my books will not come till the 26th so i ordered city of ashes and city of glass it's the second and the third book that are coming in and the worst part is that i'm supposed to go on vacation on the 26th i can get it on my kindle maybe like rent it or something until i have the book actually i think i'm gonna do <laughs> so let let me do that now yep i have it until august 1st so i just borrowed it and I will let you guys know if I read any today because I got to go to work today, so I don't know. I have been busy for like a good couple of days. Um, I haven't read as much as I wanted to. Obviously, you guys know I started City of Ash. I think like Monday I started it or something and I'm only a couple pages and I think I'm on chapter four now or or into chapter four like a little bit we did get somewhere but my books did come yesterday i just decided myself to just order them and i did and it only took a couple days i literally thought it was supposed to come wednesday i think yeah and they came so much earlier so i got city of ashes obviously the one i'm reading right now like look how pretty and like i said it complements her hair very well and then i also got city of glass and i think simon's on this page not how i picture him at all and so excited so i have at least four of the books right now i'm kind of going back and forth between my kindle and the book so i don't know we'll see which one i like better hello you guys so it's very late it's 2 10. i have no idea what chapter i'm on i think i'm literally still on chapter eight yeah i am i'm on 174. i might try to finish the chapter um because it is 2 10 but i also need to go to bed so I might finish it tomorrow morning. But besides that, um, they went to the Seely Court. The queen made Clary kiss the person she desires the most. And of course that was her brother. So <laughs> that was a little, little weird. I'm almost halfway done the book. Probably like 40% done. So I think this one's like 500 pages, I believe. Yeah, this one I'm not liking as much as the first one. I think it's because the romance ended between Jace and her. And I like really like that part. Everyone's like depressed right now. And everyone doesn't really know what to do. Because they're like too young to deal with it. I'm just moving a little slower in this book. I've also been kind of busy so i do go on vacation though so i'm hoping to get a lot of reading done then yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this video so far i'm really enjoying it i think it's gonna be long as hell though because i gotta get through six books and i have a lot of talking bits good morning so i don't even know what time it is but i just know that it's morning <laughs> it's like seven ish or eight ish or whatever but i have been packing so i'm going on a trip um we're running the mountains on our rv for a little bit till the weekend so it's wednesday now i do work on saturday um as well but the thing with simon just happened and they also just went to go see the silly queen which i talked about in the last video so we won't talk about that but that happens i don't like that but that's the thing i want more action so more fighting more like plot moving almost halfway done or close enough to halfway done i need to start packing All right, you guys, reading update. Beck is in the thick. I'm on page 348 and it's chapter 17. A lot of shit has happened, okay? After what happened with Simon, kind of just broke through. But I feel bad for Jace because like, he's going through a lot of trauma, but he's not gonna talk about it because he's been taught not to. When he has to be fearful, it's kind of like a new loop. I hope he's okay. <laughs> So I am back from work actually. It is 11.23 and it is Saturday the 29th. I just also obviously came back from my trip. I think we were home by like one-ish. I did finish my book in the car. I love this series like i don't know what it is about it but like for me this series just feels so homey and the way that she writes it I, I can easily picture everything just in the beginning i had some difficulty like reading and getting into it plot loved it it was a little slow until like the next half was like perfect good pacing everything like I was so excited and we were in it for like a good bit i was just having so much fun i didn't like simon and clary's like little relationship i think it's weird like i don't know i, I see them so like a hundred percent as good 
best friends. Like I don't see them as romantic lovers. I just see them as like, I love you as the best friends and I can count on you, you know? Like I just like that. Sometimes like stuff doesn't need to be a relationship. It can just be like friendship. And I also don't ship them. I ship her and Jace, obviously. The incest part was a little weird. It was kind of getting to me and I was like, Please stop. Let's just skip through this book and get to the book where you guys find out that you're not brother and sister, please. Please. I just, I'm very glad that gla that Jace is where he is now. I was really scared for him. I felt really bad. I felt like I got a bunch of stuff dumped on him. And then he got like pushed into the mud even more with the Inquisitor and all this other crap. Like he had a rough, rough month. I do really want to see more of Magnus and Alec. I feel like we're just getting like a little glimpse of the iceberg. I want to see what's underneath. And maybe see more of Isabel. I feel like she's kind of like a side character. We see Alec a lot more, but Isabel's kind of just me i did get city of glass on my kindle i don't know this one's kind of cool too it's pretty all these books are like just so pretty i usually don't like like people on the front covers like this but these are so pretty um obviously i am a little bit in because i read the little excerpt at the end but just think i only have four more books left it's kind of sad so we'll see what i do i'll, I'll up to you guys when i start reading okay okay a video and I just feel like really pretty so I wanted to film. I didn't really read anything today. As I said, I was on chapter four, Daylighter. I like the vibes of this book. Like I said, I'm kind of like in a slump with it right now because I can't finish like one series all in one because I need a break. And I did that with Throne of Glass too, even though I was like absolutely loving it. After this book, I might take a break. I'm gonna try to read some tonight. I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking bits. So I'm definitely gonna try to get more like reading bits. So that's what I'm gonna try to do tonight. Um, but I do have to work again. I feel like every time I come back to like tell you guys i'm reading i have to look work i'll see you guys then hi guys okay so i am going to try to read as much as i can i've literally been chilling all day i cleaned up my room i want to watch mr peabody and sherman like really bad because me and becca i mean me and danielle were talking about marie antoinette i think that's her name but also i want to watch gilmore girls but i've never had like an inkling to watch it and now like i kind of want to Right now, the thing that's happening is Simon is leaving Alicante. Leaving it, but I am like sus because I mean the main point of this book is that Simon is in a prison. I don't think he's going back home. I don't think Alec knew that. I think he was going home. So I don't think he was in on it. We'll see, but and chapter six bad blood i was right about simon <laughs> obviously that makes sense like i totally understand clary you know wanting to like i would do that for my mom 100 percent. you know like i would stop at nothing to get her back especially in a world that i don't know and she knows all about you know and just like i would do the same thing but she's not thinking about anyone else and like the trouble that they'll be in and th this is like the world that they know so she should be listening to him to them i need to go eat dinner so i'll let you guys know what else i read but yeah so far so good an inquisitor's an asshole let's wrap that up <laughs> jace is a I don't know what happened, but nothing means he gets to yell at Clary like that. Every action that she has made or reaction has been for someone that she's loved. Every time. Hi! Such a strong person that you do anything for them. And Clary has done that every single time. Had they been stupid and rash? Yes. Yes, they have. This one about her mom was a little annoying because it was like very childish, but like we gotta remember, they're only 15 to 16. Jace thinks he's all this and he's not. He just did a childish reaction and just made a decision for her like he owned her. It's gross. It was gross as shit. And for him to yell at her like that literally broke my heart. The thing she said to him. 
I don't know. I'm on Clary's side. That is ridiculous. Like, she shouldn't have done that. Like, that was very childish. And she threw a tantrum. So, I agree on Luke on that. But this does not mean he gets to yell at her like that. So, hi guys. So, it is a long time since I've updated this vlog for my books. So, it is Friday the 18th and it's 12.43. Um... I've had a hard time reading this month. I'm kind of in a slump right now, but it's not this book's fault. Like, it's good. Stuff is starting to happen, but I've started to realize that, like, a good chunk of the book, for probably, like, 100, 150 pages, is, like, all about, like, building up the story again and getting back to where we were. It's kind of like a cooling off period, and then the action starts. So I finally kind of got out of that cooling out pe uh, period with City of Glass. I am now on 344. I'm halfway through this one chapter because I tried to read some before work and I did, so I'm on chapter 15. I actually only have a couple, a couple more left, so I'm really excited to finish it. Like I've been saying though, I think I'm gonna give this series just like a little bit of a break just because I've read, I'm going to have read three books, means halfway there. This plot is like pretty good. It's not like my favorite one because, well, there's not really much to it. They're kind of all scattered. There's not like one point across um it's kind of like a lot of like scatteredness so we'll see where we go from a lot of stuff just happened to alicante so we're in that right now i've come to realize that shadow hunters are kind of racist with downwarders excited um and i'll get back to you guys when i finish the book or if i have like a huge update or something which will probably be when i finish the book i'll get my thoughts <laughs> you guys are you shitting me right now are you kidding right now she's <laughs> Okay, pause this. Um, this is a spoiler right here. She's kissed two brothers. Are you serious? No, I'm sorry. What is up with Cassandra Clare and her with brothers? She really has a weird fetish. That's so gross. She's kissed two brothers. Okay, I'll be back. Guess what guys? Okay, so it's first off, 11.25 and it is the 30th of Wednesday of August. I'm so close, okay, okay. So I technically finished the book. I'm reading the epilogue right now and that's 40 pages I think. No, it's, that's it? I can read that I think, we'll see. Um, I'll see how much I can read right now because I should be going to bed because I gotta wake up at 6.30 but I don't want to because I've been doing work all day. Like every time I get home, I'm literally doing homework and editing recently. Hello? Hello? What's happening? Hello? So I just want to have a break. So we're gonna read some, see what I think. Um, so far, this isn't my favorite one. I don't know why. I don't know. Something about it. I just don't like this one as much. Um, but I think it was also because I was in a reading slump. I don't know. This one just isn't my favorite. I don't really care for it. I don't really care what's happening. I don't know. Let's get in. It is extremely late. It is 12 o'clock. I will be in bed now, but I'm not. So, we did finish City of Glass. I don't know what I'm gonna give this. I think I'm gonna sleep on it. Just something didn't work for me, especially towards the end when like the big thing happens. I was like, whatever. But I just didn't really enjoy it as much. We'll see where this goes because it's like everything just wrapped up. 
So I don't know what is in store for next. I felt like there wasn't really a plot for like a good bit of it. It was just like a bunch of whining. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But I don't know where like this big thing happened and then all the action finally happens. But it took forever for it to happen and I was just getting bored. So I'm gonna grab the fourth one, put it on my desk. I don't know when I'll read it, um, but I'm going to New York with Dylan. So I'm gonna bring that and then another book and see which one I'd like to read. So I'm going to head to bed though because I need to go to bed. So good night. I'm gonna go stamp it put it on my bookshelf and mark it as complete so yay oh my god okay hi guys i'm in a 24-hour readathon right now and i'm gonna be doing this book for my third one you're gonna see this review for this book in that video before you see this video which is okay but i'm gonna get into it i'm very tired right now and like slowly losing my mind <laughs> to be precise but i have some refreshments like some dunkin dunkin coffee that i got from wise and some ice cream to get me going so i think i'll be able to but i'm really excited to get this in back into this world because i just haven't been in it for a good bit hi guys like welcome to this video again um i'm acting like i haven't like you guys are seeing these clips like from one after another because it's in a video obviously but like to me like i haven't seen you forever and i have to say hi so hello words are hurting my brain i brought my kindle down because i don't think i could read like my book right now i just don't think i could do that i'm like way too tired and i don't know with my kindle it just feels like i can go faster 145 too and i have 11 hours left in my challenge but i'm only 15 percent done with this book it's very 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 slow i do not like simon i've come to that conclusion i don't like him i find that he's very whiny and he's gross how he's using um isabel and mia because he's dating them at the same time that was like the first passage i read and i was like great start to the next book you know i don't care about him i want to hear about the shadow hunters that's what the book is about and i think i've gotten more passages of simon in 15 percent than anyone else's and that was it i don't even think alec is hasn't even been in yet and Isabel is just like tossed to the side like normal and it's like annoying. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll update you guys when I'm back, when I'm at 50% if I get there. <laughs> 4.32, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm on chapter nine from fire onto fire and I am 39% done with the book. I am on page 184. I was gonna try to get to like 200. I can't, I'm so tired right now. Like my body feels like it's in slow motion and like I'm drunk because I'm so tired, you know, you know that feeling. So I'm gonna go to bed, um, but I, even though I hate Simon, I love his relationship with Chase because they're just so funny and sarcastic together. And we just met this new character named Kyle and all three of them together make me giggle and I'm having fun with all three of them. So other than that, I'm enjoying it. I need to go to bed. I feel delirious and my body feels asleep, but I'm awake and I'm like slow motion. There's just a lot happening right now and it's good. And I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna pass the fuck out. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I don't think I can finish this in five hours considering that it took me almost all night to almost finish, not even get halfway. We'll have to see. But I'm also very tired. I don't think I can read anymore. Oh, thank you. My mom's my mom really cute though. She's like, how much do you read? And I was like, how much read? Three books. She's like, wow, really? I was like, yeah. She's like, that looks really good. I was like, oh. chapter 14 and i'm a good chunk way through it's kind of dragging right now we're getting a lot of people's points of views and it's kind of hard to keep track of and not, not that's hard to keep track of but everyone's kind of doing their own little secret thing and then at one point they're all like oh yeah like i was doing this past seven days or something it feels like it doesn't have to be a series like you don't need to have these extra books and i feel like i'm kind of feeling this with that unless something's gonna happen Okay, so it is right now 1.53 on December 10th. So I was filming my 24 hours and I only got 3.20, I think it was. I was reading for a little bit and I got to 3.60 
and I'm on chapter 18 right now, Scars of Fire. I just started falling asleep. I don't know, just nothing crazy is happening. Nothing to, I wanna keep reading this 24 seven. We're gonna try to finish it either tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna read on my Kindle for like a very small bit and then I'm gonna pass out. But I am gonna change it to light mode so that my brain is tricked into being awake. Okay, I'm trying to like put you on. That's not gonna work. I just finished City of Fallen Angels. I read chapter 18 yesterday, like last night before I went to bed at 3 a.m. <laughs> and then I just read chapter 19. I don't know how to feel. That's not good. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Sorry. I didn't mean the book. I meant the last thing that just happened. That's not good. They are in deep trouble. I wish it was like a different manner. I feel so bad for Jace. Jace has some unrelieved trauma he thinks he should just die at this point because my goodness this kid goes through so much he needs some therapy <laughs> after this point he needs some serious therapy i hope he has like a redemption arc as in like he heals he gets better in the fifth book or the six book something like that but it was nothing special it was nothing that was like keeping me on my toes or anything i think the reason i read so much was from the 24 hour readathon. The entire book was really no conflict until the end when it finally happened and everything started to come together. I don't like when characters are split apart and then there's this part where they have to explain everything that just happened to them back and forth. I just hate when that happens because it's kind of like, ugh, just stay together, you know? Now we're gonna get on to the fifth book, which I don't have right now. I'm gonna have to buy it. I don't know when I'll buy it or if I'll get it for Christmas, yada, 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 whatever, but I get to add this to my next collection. Um, I'm going to close this segment off and i'll see you guys next when i read the next book I made probably the dangerous tripod on the planet right now so we're working with that it's 10 23 and it is um wednesday the 27th and i am going to finally get into the fifth one of the mortal instrument series i know i look a little crazy right now i just woke up like an hour ago before this i was reading queen of nothing and i finished that last night and luckily somehow got it i changed my hold to like i want it now as soon as possible and literally i was able to get it yesterday so i started it yesterday yeah i don't know really what to think so we got into the conflict finally in the fourth book it's addressed and we actually see the conflict in this let me start in this reading and then um i'll get back to you guys made it to chapter two it was really easy for me to get through that like i feel like i was really engaged with it yeah i've never really liked the council i feel like care about the laws and the rules but when it comes to their actual members they don't care at all as in like if they go missing whatever you guys all go missing that we don't care if you guys know where we're at in the book we're looking for that person frustrating like hey this is your member that you know is fighting for their life out there and is like protecting people <laughs> I literally don't know what to think right now. I was at work because I had to close. And as I was late, I had nothing to do. So I started reading. I think I read like 20 pages at work. And then I came home. And I've just been reading since then. Because this book is just going by. It is flying by. I just feel like I'm on my toes. And I just want things to be resolved. So I'm on page 105 right now. So first off, I don't know what's happening with Chase. Whenever 
Jace has done something bad, it's always been under the influence of someone else. And you'll know that if you've read the series, I'm trying not to spoil here. Right now, I don't think he's under the influence, but I want to believe that and I'm really shocked at his behavior because he's very weird. But I'm also trying to think maybe with the weird connection, I don't know what's happening with him and I don't like it because I like my cute and sarcastic baby, not the what we're getting right now. Like that's not him. Um, another thing is, is we're getting a lot more of Alec in this book. I think the one POV we haven't, or the two POVs we haven't gotten a lot of is Alec and Isabel. And I want both of them. And I really like him and Magnus together. We didn't really get it for like the past four books or whatnot. And then for Isabel, we still haven't gotten hers. I feel like she's definitely like a side character. Like she doesn't have a big POV. Like she hasn't had that yet. So. I'm not sure if we will get her. If, if we do, that'd be really cool. I'm gonna keep reading this. I'm on chapter six. I don't like that entire part because we're back in with that like incest. Because like the first time, it's like an oopsie, like an oops little mistake. But then the second time, and she's like actually like growing on it and basically saying that Sebastian wanted to kiss his sister and wants to watch his sister do things with her boyfriend. So I'm probably going to read a little bit more tonight and then pass out. I'm really tired from work and I've hit my goal of reading 100 for tonight. So I'm probably just going to read what I can and then once I go to, like I'm starting to fall asleep, I'll go get ready for bed. Hey guys. Okay, let me give you a little update because many things have happened since I last updated you guys. And I think that was Wednesday. <laughs> one chapter nine and i'm on page 186 so i'm gonna try to read a lot today and then also a lot tomorrow but i do have to go to work so there's that i will see you guys when i am halfway done this book because i can't give you every updates after every 10 pages oh so far what's happening sorry i didn't get like any updates um i feel like i'm bored i don't know i just i feel like clary isn't the main character anymore she's said to be the main character but i feel like it's really jace but maybe it's like their love that's like the main character i guess i just feel bored i don't really care about the other povs because we're finally getting isabel which i'm loving and i'm glad but i'm also kind of bored <laughs> like i wanted her and now i'm like okay i'm bored let's go back you know i just want something to happen because with cassandra claire's books it's all information it's all info dump it's all trying to get to that problem and then the last 100 150 pages are all action and that's like them finally getting to the problem i just get bored because there's no action in between and i need something because right now it's all just been a lot of info a lot of worry and i'm talking about the problem but nothing happening they're all grouping up and we're like what are we gonna do and they're like let's do this and then it just doesn't happen not even halfway done so it's still kind of like in the beginning so hopefully throughout we get more because that fourth book was really boring and I just did not like it. So yeah, I really like the three, the first three books. And I feel like honestly, Cassandra K Clare could have just done those three books and it'd been an amazing series. I feel like these three, these last two books so far are dragging. We'll see how this goes, but I think I only have this till like January 18th. So I need to, I need to pick it up. I'll see you guys later. Um, love yous. Nope. 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 <laughs> they didn't work. I also put on Peabody and Sherman. I love this movie. Okay, it is literally like the cutest movie ever. Oh, one more thing to talk about. I've never Sorry, this isn't really focusing on- If anything, I have never liked Clary's mom. She just kept her in the dark all these years and then still treats her like a kid. And I think she's like 18 now after all the events. I think she's like 18, 17. Which, I mean, is still a kid. You're right, I guess. Like a young adult, whatever. But I just don't like how she treats Clary and how she- it's like, oh, you're a child, but literally, like, Clary helped the Shadow Hunters more than Jocelyn ever did. And I feel like she tries to compare- her life with Clar Clary's love life so that she doesn't make the same mistakes but even though this is a, like it isn't a mistake she's just trying to compare so that she can control her daughter I feel <laughs> shower i finished up my morning routines because i had kind of just started reading and then like 
stopped everything I was doing. But hi. Okay, let me get into it. I have my little cocoon of pillows around me because I'm planning on finishing City of Lost Souls today. I just, I need to. I feel so bored and I'm like dreading reading it because there's nothing happening. It feels like there's no purpose. So like with the first villain, there was a purpose. They had something to do every single day. They were fighting. They were always in action or there was always something happening. Now I feel like there isn't a purpose and this villain isn't as super bad as the first one. I'm on chapter 15, I'm on 340, and am 59% done with the book, so I'm almost done. I think I could finish it today. I literally, for some reason, I don't work today. The schedule's all over the place, so I'm gonna sit down, read this book, finish it, and then get to some editing, I think, today, but it's only 237. If I sit down and just only read this, let's see how much time is left in this book. I just four hours and 51 minutes left, so there's about five hours left. I think I could finish it a little bit quicker but it just feels like a chore and i'm just not enjoying it so we'll see maybe my changes my my idea will change but i'll let you guys know so let me get to more reading and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit liking this one and the last one is because I'm getting like none of Jace and Jace is my all-time favorite character and I'm missing that chemistry and just him <laughs> and that's why I feel like this is slow and I feel like Clary isn't the main character anymore so I feel like we're missing the main character who is Jace and I need him back so he's carrying for me, okay? I'm gonna be honest. page 453 um, chapter 20 that was so gross and that was almost rape so that was something I knew something was weird I could finish this book today I don't know if I'm gonna be able to I'm getting kind of tired I really just wanted to film real quick because I feel like there's some people that are like totally okay with giving like a two star hold on it's so late it's literally two I have not been able to go to bed right now like in like two days it's been so hard for me to get over to bed i just wanted to say like there's some people that are like for them it's so easy for them to give like a two star or one star to a book i feel so bad i don't i feel like i can go back and i could really be like yeah two stars you know but i don't want to that makes me want to go back to all my ratings and be like what was really a two star for me because i did a lot of pretty much like medium like it was okay or right but then there's some books that I was like yeah it's a three star but it's not and I don't know I just didn't want to give it a two star because I feel like two stars are like harsh I'm such a nice person I need to stop morning guys I am just woke up and everything I woke up kind of late today and I'm kind of annoyed so 12 12 right now finished for some reason this was telling me 580 pages and i thought i had a lot more to go but then i read one chapter today and then right after was the epilogue and i was like oh i'm done yippee that last 100 pages had so much action in it and so much events in it the writing was great the plot was good i'm just asking why did we not see that throughout the book like that's kind of ticked me off because I had been waiting for something and I love that the last 100 pages are eventful and great but if it is dreadful to get through the rest of the book what's the point just to get the last 100 pages you know I don't know what I'm gonna rate this right now 
honestly beforehand if it didn't get better i was gonna give it like a two i was telling myself last night that i need to start rating how i feel i was kind of getting worried because we had these slub subplots happening we had these slub sub top we had these subplots happening and it was all throughout the book and i'm like when are we going to get back to them you know why would they be in there in the first place and then they finally came to light i don't know i just don't know how i feel this wasn't the best at all i might give it a two the ending was good but i can't keep saying like keep i don't want to keep waiting for the end to finally get where i want it to be i just don't like that i need throughout the book to be good because i can't just say oh i'm gonna give it the four stars because of the ending if I'm saying throughout the book, nothing happens, it's very, very slow. I liked the characters coming together, but I feel like it didn't feel like the first book and how that had felt. I just did not like it. Athena. That's a lamp. Don't touch it. Back up. Come here. Come sit. Okay. This was a drag. Didn't like it. Um... It just didn't feel like why I like these books. I know. It just felt like we were grasping at straws trying to make a villain. And then it finally came to light. And yeah. I'm, I'm excited for the last book. I feel like that one is going to be the redemption arc. And I feel like it's going to be really good. So we'll see. So one more book. I'll see you guys when I have it. And when I have this book too. Okay. This is for the Mortal Instruments video. I am literally in the middle of three books and I have just filmed for three different videos on all of these books. Filmed this one, filmed this one, and then I'm now onto this one. Okay, so I am about only 46 pages in. I started on the audiobook. I just got the audiobook and I figured why not use it and so, but I like it because I was able to get 46 pages in and I didn't have to read. We're not picking up exactly where it ended, where I guess there's been time in the middle for it and we're kind of catching up right now. Something has happened with Sebastian now, um, so we'll have to see where that goes. But um, that's so far the smallest update ever. I am gonna be doing another 24 hour readathon. So this is going to be in another video and I feel terrible because all of these books I've already reviewed. I'm going to already review before this video probably even goes out. I still really like doing this video. <laughs> We're going to just keep on reading this. I don't know what else to say. Aggressive. Okay, I'll just see you guys when I'm halfway done or when I have an update because I really have nothing to say. I just wanted to say that I started it. So, like, what is this going? I usually am like used to like the like beep on my G7X right now. Anyways, I have not thought about this book in so long, mainly because I have it on audio and I've been reading it on that, but recently I've just like I lost it and then I just haven't thought of the book. Little update, I right now am in like a weird reading slump. I just don't want to read anything. I'm like reading a page and then I'm getting on my phone and I'm just like not wanting to read it. So frustrating. Now I'm on page 340 and we've got like a little chunk um, in it. I think this is almost seven, this is 700 pages I'm pretty sure. A long way to go. Right now with this book, it's just like a lot of planning. Everyone's freaking out because obviously he's got like the upper hands right now and people are like, what do we do? Like he wants Jason Clary and da 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 So much information. Sometimes I'm just wishing for the adventure and such. Yeah, I'm gonna try to read. I just wanna read something today. Yeah, so that's why I don't wanna like, I don't wanna read this all on my audiobook because like I do like the story and I want to be invested in it. But yeah, what I was trying to say is like with audiobooks, like sometimes I just don't listen. I'll have it on and then I completely just phase out and i'm like what just happened so that's really frustrating and then also sometimes with the voices like right now i cannot picture how i voiced everyone in my head because i have the two people who are narrating the book in my head and i'm like get out sometimes you just need that book to get you out of the slump sometimes it just is like a little change of your routines i was in a big routine of just reading from these books i am so excited right now to keep on reading if i've only read a little bit say i'm on page 380 chapter 15. i have a little i think we're halfway now i think we're officially halfway yes i literally broke this spine. i've been doing this Okay, this book is like not comfy, so I broke the spine. I don't care. I really don't care. Eating this up now. Like, I miss this so much. It took me a second to get back into it, but I'm loving it. So I don't want to do any spoilers or anything, but let's just say... Oh, I really can't talk about this book. Um, we're on a journey, but we're getting closer. And there's this demon that was showing them their, like, dreams. I mean, like, this, 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 
This demon was pretty much showing everyone their dreams and their desires, but it was always like a little wrong. There was something wrong about it. Everyone's was shown but Jace's and truly, I seriously don't even think of Clary as the main character. I seriously think of it as Jace. Like he's always the one out. Just whatever he saw, like he was like, I didn't see anything. He like, it will never show emotion, but he really thinks he's like the main character. He's always like, no, I'll go. And I'm like, shut up, bro. Honestly, my favorite character is Alec. I love him. I've always loved him. I think right now this this book is sitting at like a four stars, honestly, which is a big improvement from the other two books. So it is late, it is 12.20 and I am about to do more reading. I'm on 4.79 right now, but I'm gonna definitely try to get to at least 500. I have not read today. And then hopefully tomorrow, maybe I'll read a lot because this is only 700. It's like exactly 700 pages. I think so we'll see what I get. New character. So we have Emma and Julian, and there's like a couple siblings here and there, but them, their dynamic together is just so powerful, and they definitely remind me of Clary and Jay's. They'll ever have like a love connection, but I can definitely see one possibly in the future, and just how much they care for each other and love each other. And I'm really glad we have them. It's like a different. POV. And then also with Clary and Jace, like you can always count on one of them to be running to the rescue to the other one. I mean, Clary literally ran into fire for him. Like she is so in love with him. They deserve everything in the world. Like after this war, they deserve a cupcake, a cookie, ice cream, and some coffee. Recently, she said something and I thought it was so powerful. She said something I cannot find. She was like looking at Jace, Alec, and Isabel, and she was, whenever I first met him, like, I'd always seen them as the people you would fear, and the dangerous ones, and very powerful, but I never thought of myself as, like, the powerful one. Oh, shit, I definitely messed that up. She was like, I never expected myself to be like that, and I was just like, you go, girl. I mean, I don't want to spoil or anything, but this, this bitch is powerful, and the fact that she's finally realizing that she has so much to herself, fighting dynamics and just abilities, I'm like, you go. But I'm just gonna finish this up and then, or not finish this up, finish this chapter up. So we're just gonna finish this and then go to bed. Time because it started not raining but like it got super windy again if i look like i have no motion in my face it's because i literally just bawled my eyes out to this book Whew, that was rough i'm not even gonna lie that was rough too many things just happened um if you hit page like what am i on right now i'm on page 638 but those 38 pages literally took so much out of me and i just bawled my eyes out and i have no idea how they're going to fix it if they are going to fix it because we have only about 100 pages left. I'm scared, I'm scared. 
I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't want to lose any of these characters. I literally bawled my eyes out outside because of what could have happened and what did happen. And either way, I was so upset. I don't know. And the character who just made that decision is the most selfless character ever and literally gains back so many points. Uh, I'm gonna go shower and probably finish this book. So yeah, cause we have only a little bit left. <laughs> hurting right now and if you guys well I don't want to spoil but um I miss this character a lot and I'm on page um 674 and I didn't I liked this character they did a couple bad things here and there that I didn't like but I like really missed this character and now they're not here and um I feel so bad for the other character who's dealing with it like the happy I mean they weren't happy they were dealing with like a lot of stuff but like in the beginning they had each other and now a lot has happened I'm like so upset right now like this hurts like there feels like there's something missing in my in my chest right now I'm gonna miss this series <laughs> like this series means so much to me much left of this beautiful amazing world like this is such a good let me before we get into the epilogue i just wanted to say that this is such a good starter fantasy series the world building is pretty simple it's just very easy to get through i have had no issue like trying to figure out the world and everything there was times i was a little difficult like tricky with the angels but other than that, this has been such a fun read and I'm not excited to finish it. It's definitely an easier fantasy, but it's definitely worth it. I'm going to finish this and I'm going to let my camera charge and then we're going to finish off this book and then I will give you guys all my ratings. Need water for how much I've cried today. I am absolutely... And I mean absolutely heartbroken. I just finished this series. What do I do? <sighs> I feel like I want to cry more. Like this series meant so much to me and I just finished. My emotions are so high. Like I feel so anxious because my emotions are so high right now. I need to know two things. One, in any of the other books, do I see this group? Jace, Clary, Simon, Alec, and Isabel, and Magus. Do I see them literally anywhere else? And two, where do I go after this? I know that there's the dark artifices or like the the infernal devices. The infernal devices I know is before this, but then like Lady Midnight and it's all that. That's Emma and Julian's story. I don't know where to go after this. I don't even know what to say, like in a good way. Like this last book literally made me wish that I appreciated the story more. I know the first book when I read it I was so obsessed. The ones in the middle were kind of up and down but this one means so much to me. I got to the last page and I literally started getting like sweaty because I knew it was gonna end. That was so good. So much emotion just went into this book. Sweat and tears and some pool water. Salt water mostly but her writing style is so beautiful. This other quote I literally told my entire family. Oh, Simon looked at Isabel. It was a little like looking at the sun, but the way she was looking back at him made it easy. 
something's different with fantasy books it's like with this they their love is so pure because they would die for each other and it wasn't just like one couple would die for one another no it was that the entire friend group would give up their lives for just one of them their bond is otherworldly and the sacrifices they make is like a second thought they don't you know they come first i don't have any critiques about it i probably will like throughout the end but i'm trying to just enjoy reading again always trying to criticize it or find something that's wrong with it i'm trying not to do that anymore because it honestly gets in the way of me writing and i've talked to a couple of you guys and like you were saying the same thing like you were too critical with books this book i just enjoyed it was so fun in the beginning was it a little slow yeah because obviously everyone's freaking out they're like well, what's gonna happen I'm so invested i'm also so invested in the other series um we saw tessa who's in vernal devices and then obviously julian and emma who are in the dark artifices it's been a year and i completed the series finally so i will see you guys tomorrow when i give you all of my ratings of all the books this was so hard getting down here to do the wrap up finally finished mortal instrument series i'm here to show all my ratings even though you guys probably know all of them by now but i'm here to just finally just hold these books for a last time well, I'll probably reread it sometime, but you know. We started this last year, 2023, around this time. I started the first book, I think in July. Isn't that crazy? It took at least a year to finish it, but like in a good way. It wasn't like I hated it. It was because I was taking my time with it and I wasn't rushing it. That's usually what I do with series. Like I don't want to rush them. And so I finish them when I want to, when I'm feeling like it, because it just makes it even better. Obviously the first book was City of Bones. And this, this one I gave a four stars. It was just so much fun it reminded me of my childhood and i just had a blast the next book is city of ashes this one i read on my kindle mostly so this one's kind of like brand new like not really like bent this one i also gave a four star had such a fun time was so enthralled by it didn't want to leave the realm i think i would give this like a 4.75 now because i had so much fun with it this is also i think my favorite cover obviously clary we love her this queen deserves it all. The next book was City of Glass. This has Simon on the cover. This one I gave us three stars. It definitely felt like we finished up with the first conflict and I really enjoyed it and it was fun. Definitely was a little harder to get through. I think it's because a lot of the time they were kind of like this. The next one is City of Fallen Angels. This one has Isabel on the cover. This one I did not like. It was like a weird period where they were kind of going through their day to day. Nothing really happened and then I don't know where we have this big conflict. Very boring. So I didn't like this one as much but I gave this one also a three stars. I feel like if I had to go back I'd probably give it like a 2.75 or so but I think a three is like a good just like a meh. City of Glass was definitely better than City of Fallen Angels. Okay the next one is City of Lost Souls. This one I think is my least favorite. I gave this one a two stars. It was not my favorite and things that were happening to the characters especially Jace and Clary I was not liking. We were introduced to Sebastian and Sebastian really just completely evil. I didn't like a couple things in this book. It was very creepy, very very gross. And I gave just the two stars, but this definitely had a reason for how slow it was. It was definitely leading up to the last book. And the last book is City of Heavenly Fire. This one is a six stars. Loved everything about it. The characters, the emotion that it struck out of me was so violent. <laughs> like I cried so much yesterday. I woke up in my bags were awful. So much fun with this book. Could not put it down. Did not want to leave this world and the last page took so much out of me just flipping to it. I loved this. This book really wrapped it up well. I feel satisfied. I felt like thing that happened with the bad guy with Sebastian that felt like a little like meh but everything else that happened afterwards I was kind of like yeah that's okay you know it 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 added up. We've completed the first Shadowhunter series and I had such a fun time with this. It definitely deserves some hype. Starts the world really well. And it really got me really invested and I'm so ready for all the rest of the books. So definitely start with this one if you want to get into the Shadowhunter realm. I think there's like, you can go online and I think they literally have like a Shadowhunter website where it tells you you can either go chronological order like timeline 
or you can do it by publication order. If you have finished the series, what you thought of it, and what you think I should go on to next. If you haven't read the series or if you're in it, let me know where you're at. And yeah, let's just have a nice little conversation in the comments. I had a lot of fun talking to you guys. Thank you for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is crazy that like this is the end of this video. This has been in the works for so long and I was going to cry my eyes out if I lost any of this footage. So far, please, please don't get... I'll see you guys next time. I love you.